King Vedanta sat in his chariot flanked by two soldiers who had long swords not that he needed them to protect him but it was nice being in the protection of your own men Vedanta could see how the plans from the ancient scriptures worked legendary strategists used this method and now he was using it too Vedanta promised himself he would return to his kingdom and write long passages about his bravery and fight against injustice that kali been ravaging the land of ilavarti with his stupid and casteless outcasts they think they can destroy the son of indra he proclaimed to his soldiers proudly son of lord indra one of the soldiers meekly asked are we protecting a god son your highness yes he frowned where is he right in front of you you are a son of god the same soldier blurted out not literally as in lord indra was spiritually my father the one i worshiped oh all right the soldier was disappointed shut your trap and work about the battle he murmured no use in talking to illiterates like you the soldier kept his silence vedanta didn't notice anything until his chariot rocked and finally halted he stuck his head out of chariot to see what was wrong cursing the driver what is wrong the army has stopped my lord stopped vedanta jumped from the carriage and his soldiers hurriedly followed him he walked to his senapati since he couldn't see through the layers properly what's with the hold up eh the senapati leapt down from his horse to the ground and handed vedanta the spyglass he swallowed a huge lump as he spoke before vedanta could look kali is not playing fair he then instructed his army to make way and let vedanta have a look at what was coming for them vedanta moved forward even has he adjusted the spyglass fair fair he is a bloody mess the mlecha he is no good why would you expect him to play fair we are more in numbers his men he continued until he paused to see through the spyglass to look at the deranged sight of horror in front of him in the name of lord indra what in the seven heavens is that his feet were frozen to the dusty grounds those your highness are the bulls i can see that he looked away from the spyglass and to his general but why do the, they have fire on their heads